Today on Chase and Tail TV, we're going to be fishing with some, somebody that you might all know. We're going to be fishing with Mr. Al Gag. Al Gag has created lures since, I believe, 1977? 78. 78, we've yeah. been making lures. And he's got a hot new lure out now called the Whippet Eel. We're going to take it out today, fish with it. We're going to see what we can catch on it. We're going to probably start in the ocean, and then from there, we're going to try to hit the bridge and see if we can pull some in the shadow lines off the pylons off one of the local bridges. So, Al, anything you'd like to tell us about your uh, lures today? Well, we're going to uh, we're going to use the Whippet Eel, and, uh, and it's... Uh, Brother, the Whippet Fish now. The Whippet Fish, okay. And uh, we're going we're to try both of them. Uh, it's a neat creation, and we built it on sound vibration. So uh, let's get out there and put them to the test. We're going to lose our light here pretty soon. Definitely. And uh, let's get out and see what we can do with them. I got hit on something right away, but I don't know if it... Ah, got hit again. There we go. You got him? Ah, oh, popped it off again. <laughs> Keep popping him. Little bass. Mix of bass and blues. So when I'm using this whippity, like how do you want me to use this? What would you suggest? Do I do a quick retrieve, a, a bounce type of retrieve, a lift and drop? Well, it, it really depends on what the fish are doing. So uh, basically you can, you can take it, if, if they were close to the bottom, they were stacked down. Yeah. And what we do is we, we walk the lure right on the bottom, you know? Right. And what, what I'm doing with the, with the whippet fish is I'm just looking for active fish coming to the top. They don't seem too active right now. I think they all, they all went down, but you had several hits on that already. Several, yeah, but I didn't get them. Like, they're short hitting it. That's because I gave you the lure with the rubber hook. I think you did. I'm not lying. <laughs> So here's what you want to do. We're going to fish this bridge now. This is the new bridge. There's an old bridge right here. We're sitting on top of an old bridge. An old bridge? An old bridge is right underneath us. It's all down, just all particles and pieces. So what you want to do, we have an outgoing tide. The tide's going out. So we're going to take the lures. We're going to cast them that way, up current. Yeah. Right? And then what you're going to do is you want to reel nice and easy, slow retrieve, and just work it. Let the current work that lure. It's going to come over the old bridge. Yeah. Then it'll come into here. And then like at nighttime, this will form shadow lines. Yeah. And then you'll go into the shadow line. Once your lure's about this position, you reel it in. Because you're not okay. going to catch anything if you're going against the current. Okay. Right now. So you're going to show me how to put this whippet eel yep. onto the jig head now. A lot of people make a, a, a mistake when they, when, they, when they rig these things. They, they want to rig it this way, like a, the way an eel is actually supposed to look, like on the horizontal. Right. Like this, you know? Right. But the way we design this thing, you want it to vibrate. You want it to flap. Okay. So we rig it on the... I'm, I'm, excuse me, we rig it on the uh, horizontal instead of the vertical. We rig it this way, so okay. it's flat sided. Right. You know, so that you want it straight, and this is going to give you this in the, in the water. And a nice flutter effect. And exactly. So I look, I can see nobody's coming. Cast straight up. Let it sink for a couple seconds. Yeah. And I just start working it back. Now, when they hit this, it's just a tick. It's not it's a pop. A... Yeah, a little tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bass, a little striper. You want to net or no? Nah, let's lip them. You know, I don't like to net them when you throw them back because it ruins their slime. Yeah. So either, you know, I'll have like hookouts all over the boat, and I'll use it that way. I'll have to lift the fish up and use the hook out. Yeah. Oh, I just grab him by his lips. At well, least pretty small, just pulling with the line, but that's what hit me before. Baby bass. Yeah. I mean, he inhaled that lure, though. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Now, that's an 8-inch lure. And down. It, it bang, all the way. Yep, down the hatch. Joe, I noticed you're rigged up with a lot of braid on, on your rods. Do you prefer that over mono? I do. I like the braid. I mean, and this setup right here, I have tough line. It's called Supercast. It's a coated braid. Yeah. So, you know, it goes out. You really don't hear the line going through the, line, through, the, uh, through the guides like you would with the regular braids. I like it. It cuts through the water better. I think the sensitivity is better. You know, still some people are actually using the mono, but I think more and more people are going over to the braid. You have the mono on yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just to, the braid is the whole big, it's a whole different thing, a whole different feel. It slices the water better. It, it casts far, you know. But one thing with the braid, though, when you're casting with it, you know, when you, when you cast the braid, you, you got to close it like this manually. You can't use the handle because it puts a loop. Yeah. And then you get one of those wind knots in there. Yeah, and that's it. I've seen that hit. That a fish. That's a nice fish. Let me get the net ready, Joey. Now lip him. How's he look? He's a keeper. Oh yeah, definitely nice a keeper. Fish. He wants me to land them on this side. Okay. This tells us where to go. That's it. 
That's a nice color in the water. Look at that color. Uh, that fish has the size to tell you where to go. Yeah. <laughs> nice color on him. All right, let me get him. Oh, he's not actually hooked that good. I'm going to be jumping him so I don't pull the hook out. Told you he wasn't hooked good at all. There you go. I got you. That's a nice one. Nice fish. Nice Pretty fish. fish. Skinny, though. Very skinny, but definitely a keeper. Oh, I'd yeah. say probably about a 30 inch fish. And as this sun starts to go down, they're probably going to get better in here, yeah, too. Yeah. I'll just definitely line them up in here. On a good old white whippet eel. Whippet eel. I mean, you know what? You look at those things and you say, what do they do in the water? Oh, so also, um, you see where I'm at right now? I'm going over the old bridge right now. You are right now? Right, right now I'm going over it, yep. Going over the rocks, see if anything's there. Now, if you notice, I'll reel in and I still have a ton of line out. The reason why I'm doing that is that once these lures are going against the current, with any lure, yours, bucktails, swimming plugs, any lure that you want to use, but especially bucktails and obviously your lures, you're going against the current, it's no good. Once I get like this, where I'm at right now, you can see that line's facing that angle, crank it in. Don't even waste your time fishing because you're not going to catch anything. You'll get a blue, maybe once in a while you get a bass, but 99% of the time, you're not going to catch anything. Reel it in, start the same retrieve over again. Upstream, current, 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 pull it back. Okay. And that's basically what you're going to do. Good fish. Yeah, maybe not. He was fighting for a second really good. Go get him, Joey. When I first hit him, he was pretty good. He was taking some hey, line yeah, and everything. Over there. He's on the surface already right Try, there. Trying to get my, uh, am I on your line? No, I'm good. We're clear. Then when he first hit, he pulled a lot of line. They hit them eels with a vengeance. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, look at the mouth on him. <laughs> he sucked that whole thing. He's not right even in. that big. Nice little guy. Look at him in the sun. He's beautiful, right? Not even a keeper. Ooh, gotta watch it. Don't get hooked neither. And he just grab him, lock it in. Look at that beautiful, huh? Nice, nice. They're digging this lure. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's, it, that's nice to see. It's a good stock of fish. Yeah, pretty. And oh, these fish are so clean. Look at how clean. That's a pretty. Not a single, there's no sea life. Nothing. nothing not a single thing on it. The slower the better. Just enough to keep it off the bottom. And these reels now have a pretty quick, you know, yeah. uh, uh, I can't ratio. say the words. Gear ratio. Uh, yeah, gear ratio. It's a quick retrieve. So even though you're going slow, that line's still coming in that reel pretty fast. Yeah. There he is. Small one? Yeah. Real small. <laughs> They're in here. They're all mixed. What is you got it? a fluke. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Everything eats these lures, huh? Oh, yeah. This, this, I'll tell you, guys catch a ton of fluke with these things, too. So. That is great. I don't want to hurt this guy. Well, I know we can't keep him, so. Yeah. Good luck. Get bigger. He's heading out to the continental shelf to grow. Oh, Joe, now. We just caught a fluke on this. We did, I saw it. <laughs> it crazy. I mean, here we are in uh, you know, heavy current like this, and I felt the hit set up on them, and, and, but it's an eight inch bait, and that small fluke just sucked the whole thing in its mouth. Yeah, he was pretty aggressive, went right on it. Oh yeah, he went right up it, went right on it. That's so, crazy. Now, if you really want to get some fluke, you put the six inch around, a smaller one, yep. you get out and you bounce it on a three way, they kill it, absolutely kill it. That's incredible, it looks like a nice squid strip. But I mean, you gotta, you know, here we are almost November 1st, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Almost at the bottom of the tide. Little guy. But the right species, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> An active little guy. Just let's him right up. And all of them hooked right up. They, he, they must go right up the back of that yep. eel and bang. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Real nice. Well, Joey, I got to tell you, I had a great time out here. I mean, uh, you know, seeing these stripers and the fluke and uh, and uh, the company and it all was great. And, you know, it goes to prove a point that uh, people say sometimes the lures are too big for stripers, yeah. <laughs> right? But here we are with an eight inch bait and it's, I mean, it's actually fishing very, very well. But, yeah, you uh, see the fish too. I mean, sometimes the lure is as big as the fish, and they're still getting it down, no problem. Oh yeah, they're, they're eating, they're eating the whole thing. And here we are, almost into November. Yep. But <clears throat> I want to thank you for having me. Oh, anytime, anytime. And I'm, and I know that the folks uh, 
that are going to be watching this thing or, you know, it'll probably be shown at a lot of my seminars and stuff. And I'm sure it's on Chasing Tail TV. It'll be on Chasing Tail. It'll yeah. be on our YouTube page. You can go to that. You can check it out. You know, it's youtube.com forward slash mm -hmm. Chasing Tail TV. You'll see it there. And, uh, but you know what? We came out here with a mission. We did what we had to do. Oh, yeah. You know, we tried these lures out and you said they're going to work. And you were right. These lures are amazing. They catch fish. We're on the bottom of the outgoing tide, still and, getting the fish. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to fish it. Yeah, it's, just a, it's basically that slow retrieve, let the current do the work, and yeah, that's yeah. basically the, it. The slower the better. And one thing I tell people all the time, if you think you're going too slow, slow down. Exactly. You can't, just don't go too slow, you get at the bottom. <laughs> that's <laughs> the whole thing, but. Joe, thanks for having me. No problem. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please tune into our YouTube channel. You can find us at youtube.com forward slash Chasing Tail TV, or you can also find us on our webpage, www.chasingtailtv.com. Hope you all enjoyed the show.